What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today Well, Gen 10 has been revealed Okay, it hasn't been revealed, but I, I, I may have figured it out. So Yeah, let's get into it All right, so before we get too far in this is uh, Going to be a little spoiler E for Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to do my best to a avoid blatant just outright quackly evolves into this type spoilers but it, it is going to be a, a little bit spoilery with some of the theming so uh if you don't want anything like that maybe step on out of here all right without further ado let's actually dive in this time so something that we used to see with pokemon is that they would not hint to their next generations at all they, they wouldn't. I mean, there's no hints from Kanto to Johto. There's no hints Johto to Hoenn, unless you want to count mythicals. But they do now seem to hint at the next generation. I mean, in the anime alone, in Sun and Moon, we saw a TV show of this guy who was in a London-based city. And guess what? Galar was the next region, and it was based off of the UK. We then have in just here in Pokemon Journeys, the Gen 8 anime, we see a area that Team Rocket gets to that has a reference to a place in Portugal. And now we have Paldea, a region based off of Spain and Portugal. So it's it seems that they do like to hint at things, but what if I told you they like to hint at things even earlier than that? So looking at Pokemon Sun and Moon, there are hints to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. First off, someone noticed that the main character seems to be wearing Fue Coco type shoes. And I know that you may say, okay, that could just be a coincidence by the colors and all. And I guess it still could be. But need I remind you that a very popular shoe brand, at least here in the US, is a shoe brand called Crocs, which are water shoes that look a lot like this guys and they are made because of like crocs like that's their 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 animal mascot is a crocodile so maybe these shoes are called cocos and foy cocos their mascot and that's why they look like little foy cocos it, it seems like there's too much connection that can be made for it not to be a reference. There also is a trainer in the Alola region who came from another region and they speak Spanish. Now we see this again in Galar, but it seems they're already laying this groundwork in Alola. So again, seems to be hinting two gens ahead. And that makes sense. We're starting to catch on to their one gen ahead Hence, you know, things like the Strange Souvenir, the Alolan Executor poster, the Toxtricity poster, all that kind of stuff. We're picking up on that. So they need to start kind of changing it up on us. That brings us to Gen 8. Galar, Hisui, and the Sinnoh remakes, but there wasn't really much there. We have in these games a lot of hints that seem to point towards an India or China-based region. Now... You know, I know me going into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, or the trailer that revealed it rather, I was fully expecting that the Gen 9 games would be China or India. Like, I, I, I mean, you can ask people that I talked to online, I was certain it was going to be China or it was going to be India. But it, it wasn't. It was indeed Spain and Portugal, and I am more than happy with that. Yet, I have to wonder why do all these Chinese and Indian references if they're they're not going to be anything. You have things like Kaparaja being a reference to Indian elephants and them even referencing that it came from another region. So them referencing Pokey India, right? I mean, they, they even retconned where they used to say Raichu could shock an Indian elephant. They've now said a Kaparaja. So they've literally kind of retconned india to be an actual poke india if you will then we have things like the isle of armor very chinese inspired with the whole uh kung fu aesthetic you know and you have the two urshifu forms 
which each take an inspiration from different styles of martial arts. And then the same thing in Hisui with the agile and strong style fighting styles. Very, you know, martial arts-esque, very Chinese or, or even Japanese. And then I think I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, but there's the Ginkka Guild. And that is a type of plant that is found in China and is pretty well known there. So... Like I said, it seems like there's a lot of hints to China for Gen 9 to not be China. But it could all be a hint to Gen 10, because like I said, Alola hinted at Paldea, so maybe Gen 8 this whole time was hinting at Pokey China or Pokey India. I, I could really see it which either way, because it seems that they were hinting at both. Now... <laughs> We can kind of guess Gen 11 from this. So Gen 11 could in fact be Egypt or anywhere in Africa, but I am leaning more towards Egypt. Now, why is this? Well, again, this is where we get into some Scarlet and Violet spoiler territory, but there does seem to be in a lot of the leaked Pokemon, some very African inspired Pokemon and specifically some very Egyptian inspired Pokemon. So yeah, I... I like I said, I could really see Egypt coming in Gen 11 because, again, we're heading two Gens ahead. Now, I will say on Gen 10, China, India, or Japan all sounds likely to me because any of these three we could get a hint at. But I, I then think that Gen 11 will indeed be Africa, maybe Egypt specifically, but I think anywhere in Africa would be fine i know that that's been something that i've been wanting for a really long time and i know my wife has really been wanting it for a long time and i see people on twitter and youtube and stuff really wanting an africa region because there's so many cool animals and so many cool environments you can do there like right like we can go to wakanda i mean they probably won't do a fictional african country but that would be cool right anyways yeah so there you go guys that's that's gen 10 and gen 11 it's going to be gen 10 egypt or Egypt, excuse me, India, China, or Japan, and then Gen 11 will be an African country, probably Egypt. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below, and be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss all our Pokemon content, including the uh, coverage of Gen 10 and Gen 11 when they're revealed in like three and six years. Yeah, you, you want to go ahead and subscribe so that you don't have to remember to subscribe in three years for that. Alright, well until next time, I will see all of you later.